Tell me. What happened? You appear out of nowhere, with my daughter nearly bleeding to death? That bullet was supposed to hit me. Got Sam instead. Then it should be you lying on this table. Look at me. I don't know who the hell you are, but... Dad! Dad? Where's Greg? Greg... didn't make it? No. It's okay, boys. It's okay. I'm Colette? Elodie? You girls in here? Elodie. I didn't make it.
hell happened here? They tried to call me. How did I miss that? God damn it. happened here. There's blood everywhere. What? I, I, I talked to Dominic earlier, but there was, there was screaming. Christ, it was horrible. I don't know if it was him or who, but God, Miss Joan, he sounded so scared. The girls, too, crying, just crying. I, I couldn't stand it. Poor thing, they must be terrified. Donna, where was he taking the girls? Here, to my place, outside the city. Thought it'd be safer. Hours ago. We have to find them. They could be anywhere. And if we can't get a hold of them, I I don't where do we what do we do? I'm gonna keep searching here. Hey, hey, what are you? No, no, please, please, no. Donna! Donna, get out of there now! Donna! Who's Donna? Did you say Donna? You okay? Just thinking about someone I once knew. It's okay. I do that too. John, he, he went to talk to the kids, make sure they're all right, while I watched over you. Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. How are the kids holding up? I don't know. Can't be good. Their brother's dead, sister's shot. I mean, fuck. Right? So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried about Sam. I get a bad feeling every time she leaves the house. Don't worry about it. Happens more often than I like to admit. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. Hey, 
That patch of dirt, his mom's buried there. A year or so back, she just... She was sick. Not in the head. Something with her heart. She couldn't handle it, I guess. I never understood that. We were safe here. You can't give in. You have to keep going, no matter what. Sam said the same thing to her mom just a few days before. When she did it, I'd never seen Sam so angry. If it wasn't for Sam... Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Mission, we have to help him. You're too weak. Move me up. Just stay down, Sam. I need to help him. You're hallucinating, Sam. I... Greg isn't here, okay? Sam. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. Yeah, fight until the day you die. I need a word with you. In private. Do you have children? A son? A daughter? I do. Two little girls. Know the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. Erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids, but the past, it always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from home, but we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's, I could really use your help. These kids deserve a real childhood. Some place where fear isn't the norm. If I can give them even a sliver of that, I'll die happy. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything, whatever you need. <sighs> Children shouldn't have to see this. 
Greg never turned into one of these things. Did he? Are those... Whatever they are. He's at peace now. <gasps> Thank God. <gasps> I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. Peekaboo. Yourself, huh? Caught yourself a golden goose. You 
think I'm shitting any eggs. Forget it. I'm asking the questions here. Say now, won't this be fun? That's up to you. Where is he? Well, that fella liked talking so much, I gave him another hole in his head to do it with. No. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. Are you gonna answer? Someone should. Yeah! Tell her my hands are vice stuff, and I've swallowed a pint of my own blood. Where the hell are you? You heard her. Randall needs to check in. You know, this feels mighty familiar. Except you're there, and I'm here. So, Miss Shum, what do you want me to say to her? On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Like she said. Check in. Let her know you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'll play nice. Hey, Norma. Randall, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. I thought something had happened. Where the hell have you been? With Michonne. Hey! I wasn't finished yet. I was doing what you said, Michonne. You said all you needed to. Nice try. Randall? I lost you. What What were you saying? Clever girl, huh? No more know something's wrong soon enough. And if I can find you, she'll find you. You know, this alone time. You and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. <laughs> Guess I hit a button. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Sean? Is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. Sam, I'm... I'm sorry. No! No! no. James! If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now! You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! Well, <laughs> I ain't had the bell of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! 
Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. You're wrong, Randall. Am I? Well, maybe. Maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. And you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. Now that is some biblical shit, ain't it? That's how it is now. Nothing we can do to change it. Preaching in the fucking choir. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> or dying in, or are in that walking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Some are on the inside. Some are sitting right in front of us, wondering what kind of a mother brings a child into this mess of the world. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths on purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. 